Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, the 11th of March, Holy Mother, the Church, calls us to the memory of Saint Logius. Saint Logius was the second son of a noble senatorial family of Cordoba in Spain. An avid reader, student, he was much esteemed for his holy life and eloquence and also for humility. The Sarcesian rulers had tolerated the Christian religion during the first 130 years of their Spanish occupation, provided the faithful kept the heavy tax payments, but in 850 there began a period of persecution during which many were martyred for faith. The Saint Eulogius did much by spoken word and written word to encourage the persecuted and imprisoned Christians. Exhortation to martyrdom, which encouraged two Christian girls, Flora and Mary, threatened with slavery, memorial of the saints, which relates the trials of martyrs, apologia, which defended martyrs seeking death by proclaiming their faith, had a profound, profound and widespread keeping many from apostasizing. When Archbishop of Toledo died in 858, Senologius was chosen as his successor. But he was arrested just when he was due for his consecration for daring to defend a Sarsian maiden, Saint Leocrita, who had abandoned Islam for Catholic faith. In his great zeal, the holy priest even endeavoured to convert the Arab judge by pointing out the errors of Muhammadian faith and thus literally inviting death. He was beheaded on 11th March 859. So this is the time when Spain was filled with Islam and around the 8th, 9th century we have Sinologius, a saint who could very well deny Islam. But what did he do? He converted a, a Muslim girl into a saint, Leocrita. And he also wanted to convert the judge himself. Will they be silent? They killed him. That's, that's the power of faith. That's the power of faith. So we ask, dear brethren, today that the Lord may help us in our faith. Help us to be witnesses, high witnesses. Amen.